guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizwindu and today we're going to be talking about all the makeup I would repurchase if given the chance. Now I've tried to be realistic here, not just like pick my favorite things, but things that I can actually see myself repurchasing or have repurchased because I love it so much. Um, I haven't really included eyeshadow palettes because realistically I'm not going to repurchase eyeshadow palettes. I'm never going to finish one. So I'm just trying to be realistic and not just making it a favorites video, you know what I mean? So these are products that I absolutely love, right or die so much that I'm getting a backup or I'm finishing it and getting a new one. Okay, so I might just start with, I have one eyeshadow palette and I included it because of one reason. And it's just one of those palettes that is like something that I just reach for for super basic, right? And it's one of those palettes that I could see myself hitting pan on everything. It's the Revolution Reloaded Basic Mattes. It's just one of those palettes, they're all mattes, but they're all perfect. You've got warm tone, cool tone, and neutral. Uh, it's really good quality, it's affordable, it'd be an re easy repurchase for me. Um, and it's just one of those products that I could see myself finishing or like hitting pan and destroying it and buying a new one because I love it that much. I've had it for quite a while. I've recently put it in my project pan because of that reason. It's something that I'll just reach for and like organically use. So that is the one eyeshadow palette that I'm going to mention. I have one other eye product that I want to mention and I actually finished it and I want to repurchase it. So I'm going to put a picture here for you. It's the Laura Mercier um, Cream Shadow Stick in Au Naturel. I had a mini and I finished it quite quickly actually because it's one of the few eye products that doesn't crease on my eye and um, it fully dry, it's really creamy, fully dries down and stays for the day. And it's just one of those products that I put on my eye when I just, I don't want eyeshadow, but I just want to, you know, like even my eyelid tone. Um, so that is something that I actually do want to repurchase because I finished it. I have one mascara that I have actually repurchased. This is still got the packet, the sticky tape on it. Sorry, I'm really sweaty. It's hot. <laughs> uh, this is the Essence Lash Princess. Is this is so good. I've already finished one. This is a repurchase. I love it. I haven't opened it yet because I have some others that are open. But when I'm done, this will be opened and ready to use. I actually have two setting sprays. I bought an affordable. I brought an affordable and um, a high-end one. The Charlotte Tilbury, the hype is. It's worth it. It's it's there. Uh, that's another video I want to do. Is viral products worth the hype? It full like you can feel it lock your makeup in, and I like it. It really is like hairspray for your face. I like to know that when I can feel it holding. Is that weird? Like it feels not tight but ripped. This does that and I really like it. And then an affordable option is the Mecha Max Life Proof. This is the small version. This is 50 mil. It's worth your money getting the 100 mil. I think it's 100 or 150 mil. It's huge. Um, and it's not much more. So it's definitely worth getting the bigger one. And this is a really good. These, both these setting sprays are not glowy. They're not matte. They're just setting. And this is that. It's just like hairspray for the face. It just sets your makeup. Um, and this is a really good affordable option if you don't want to get a Charlotte. I have one highlighter and it is a cream liquid liquid highlighter Kevin Aquan glass glow face illuminator I love this product so much it just looks so beautiful on the skin like you think this texture is going to be really sticky but it's not oh it's just it's like liquid liquid gold it's so pretty and it just looks gorgeous on the skin. And I personally love this shade, Prism Rose, but they do have other shades. I have three powders. Powders are a kind of product that you go through. So we're, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about things that I, I can actually see myself repurchasing. So the first one is the Hourglass. I bought the mini to try and to use as my travel powder. And I want to buy the full size because I want to keep this as my travel powder because I keep wanting to use this. This is the um, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It is stunning. If you have dry skin but you want to use powder, I recommend this. Same with another one I'm going to mention. Um, it's just, 
it sets your makeup but it's not heavily matte it's a powder so it's going to be mattifying but like the Laura Mercier one very mattifying this just sets and just looks beautiful because there is you look at the powder it looks like there's glitter but it's so fine you don't see it on your face at all so don't worry about that this is just a stunning stunning powder so I actually do want to buy the full size of this um, the affordable version of this is the elf halo glow setting powder uh, this is the same idea where it is halo glow it's a glowy setting powder it's not shimmery it's not like a highlighter it sets your makeup I'm actually wearing this one today it fully sets your makeup like a powder but it's got a gentle aspect to it it's not a heavy matte it's soft and glowy but not highlighter you know what I mean so this is a really nice affordable option full beat I want to be mattified. I want it to be smoothless, no pore in sight. The Nakia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder is incredible. I like it more than the Laura Mercier. I just feel like this is more finely milled. It doesn't, it sits really nicely on the skin. And when you use this with a powder puff, like with the Laura Mercier powder puff or any powder puff that you have, when I tell you this is so blurring, it is so blurring, I highly recommend this. And she's Aussie, so we love that two brow products I have the Emco Beauty Clear Brow Gel this will be a repurchase for me I love it I've I'm probably halfway through it um, it's just a really reliable clear brow gel and it's affordable I think it's about $16 but Emco Beauty often goes on sale so you could get it for cheaper um, but this is a dupe for the benefit 24-hour brow setter um, and it's really good I'm wearing it today and then the brow product that I love, and I hate that I love it because it's not drugstore, and I prefer drugstore eyebrow products, but the Benefit Precisely My Pencil, it is that good. Um, shade 2.5 is my perfect shade match. I just love it. This is my third one. Uh, it's just one of those products that I keep repurchasing. I love their Gimme Brow as well. I do, I love the Benefit Brow products. I just, they're expensive but I only buy them when they're on sale. And like I got this particular one in a three pack of a holiday set. So it actually made it very affordable. I got three products for $40. Um, but otherwise I find it too expensive. That's why I like Emco Beauty because they have the affordable option. Um, and I have a lot of affordable brow products, but it's, it's that good. I keep buying it. I just keep buying it. Then we have lips. I didn't do a lot of lips because they're not something that I would finish regularly. I can't find it, but one of my favorite lip glosses, I cannot find it. I'm going to put a picture here. Um, it is the Fenty Heat in the hot cherry, cherry, I don't know what it's called. That one, the original Heat lip gloss. It's my favorite. I would wear it every day. It's going to be in a handbag somewhere. I just don't know where it is. And that was the, the product that I'd put on my lips when I had no makeup on, when I had light makeup on. It was a reapply product. It just gives out your lips that bitten look. Absolutely beautiful. I want to repurchase that exact same one. Um, maybe some other ones. I don't know. I love the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat, that range. Their lip gloss is supreme. So I also finished the fussy shade. I would repurchase that too. I that is a whole genre that their lip glosses repurchase. I have the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm because I'm going to go through this quickly. This is super emollient. I have the shade Slip. It's just that perfect, same kind of idea with what I was talking about with Fenty. It's just that kind of soft rouge where your lips just look naturally plump and juicy and a little bit red, just a little tint. Um, so that's why I love this one. I don't know if I can repurchase it. It's like sold out forever, um, but I'm lucky enough to have this one. So this is something I would repurchase. And then the other one is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Just in general, the formula, this is my favorite ever red lipstick. It is Day Trip because it's like a wearable red. And for a red, I've used quite a lot. So there's still a lot in there, but can you see? For a red lipstick, I've used quite a lot. I love it. It's my go-to when I want to have a bright lips, but it's like, it's, it's called Day Trip. It's a day red, in my opinion. I'm gonna show you. It's so pretty. 
It's so pretty. I just love it. I love the formula. I love the size, the application, the component, the price. I love everything about it. I'm one of those people that wants a lippy stick vault, but I don't need it. But every time I look at it, I'm like, I love you so much. I want all of you. Um, and then the other one I have too is the shade Fab, which I also love. It's a very soft, soft brown. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just such a lightweight formula. I just, I think they're absolutely nailed it. I hope they never get rid of the lippy sticks formula. If they do, I'm buying that bolt. <laughs> and then lastly, we have concealer because I run through concealer. No, I haven't done foundation. <gasps> I had it in the finished pile. Sam. We've got foundation and concealer, my two favorite products ever. Oh, and I love bronzer too, but. Oh. I didn't get a bronzer. There is a bronzer I will repurchase. Let me get that. I forgot a whole category of bronzer and blush. Silly me. Concealer. I have four. Three of them I have actually already repurchased. Um, this I finished, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. I finished and this is the new one. This is a shade cream. I use this when I'm fake tanned. It's just that little bit too dark for me now but it's a brightening shade when I am tanned. It's full coverage, but it's creamy. I love this. This is a ride or die for me. The Cossus, this is a uh, second one for me. I have the shade 01. The first time I ever bought it, I had the shade two, it was too dark, but I finished it because I loved it. I would just lighten it up with something else. But now I have shade one, which is more suitable and I love it. Um, this is something that I will, when I finish this one, I will buy another one. It's one of those products that I just always want to have in my drawers. It's serum-y, it's hydrating, but it's got coverage. It's really beautiful. Um, the Flower Beauty, I've almost finished this one. This is the one I'm wearing today. I've taken the stopper out because I'm at scraping level. Um, and I have repurchased this. This is something that also I would like to have in my collection all the time because I love it. The color I love. I have the shade there. It's just perfect. And then this is a new one to me that I can see myself repurchasing. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I have the shade Royal Ice in 1.1N. I don't love the shade. It's too light. So I would like to use this and then if I repurchase, I would get just a, just a shade darker. It's just just a titsy bit too light. But it's like a medium coverage. It is really beautiful. It just looks really natural under the eyes. I really like it. And then for my foundation, I don't have any full coverage because I tend to not really go through those before they expire. But light coverage tinted moisturizers, I power through. There is one that I want to repurchase and I'm going to take a picture, show you a picture of because um, I've already finished it. It's the NARS tinted, Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It's one of my absolute favorite tinted moisturizers and I'm going to repurchase it. I just, um, you know, I've got all these other makeup, so it's not at the top of my priority list, but it is something that I definitely will. Um, the other one is the Rose Ink Luminous Tinted Serum. I love, love, love this. This is what I use on no makeup makeup days. I have the shade 20, but I almost want to get the shade up to have, because it's so sheer, to give my skin color, because I do wear it when I'm not wearing makeup, um, because it's very sheer coverage. And this is a shade match, but if I want something with a little bit of more, like, luminosity without like you know what i'm talking about just like one shade darker i i would be tempted to get a shade darker the hourglass illusion skin tint hyaluronic skin tint this is my third one i love it i have the shade shell and ivory shell is winter ivory is summer it is not a skin tint. It's about a medium coverage, but it makes my skin look flawless. It looks blurred, smoothed. It's just one of those products that's very expensive, very expensive, but it is insanely good. So I, this, this doesn't get enough hype, probably because of the price, let's be honest. Um, and then lastly is brand new to me and I can see myself absolutely repurchasing this. I'm obsessed with it. La Roche-Posay BB Cream in the shade 1. It's got an SPF of 50, but I wouldn't use it as my SPF. I still wear SPF and this would just be an additional top layer. Um, I just love it. I love it so, so, so much. I would just want to put everything else away and just use this every day. It just looks, it's a really light coverage. It's tinted moisturizer level. Um, but it's still got a little bit of coverage. It just looks beautiful. It's luminous. It's hydrating. 
it's just it's just stunning I highly recommend this if you can get this on sale at Priceline absolutely recommend blush I have three I think that's fair enough Charlotte Tilbury lip and cheek glow oh gosh it's just so good this shade color of dreams it's so pretty I wouldn't wear this with powder though this would be something that you use with just um, when you're just using cream products because of the texture and the formula it's not really gonna mix well with powder products but on the lips and cheeks equally as good equally as good I can see myself finishing this but I have to keep restrain myself um, I have the Emco Beauty Cheap and Lip, Lip Tint. I love this, specifically the color. I have the shade Tango. It is so pretty. I, every time I wear this, I just, it's just the perfect summer, like tint, hint of color. It's so pretty. It's really pretty on the lips as well. I just love it. It's really nice. I can see myself using this and repurchasing it. I don't even have any of the other shades. I just love Tango. Um, RMS Beauty, this is the only powder brush blush I would actually repurchase. I can see myself finishing and repurchasing. I have two shades that I'm going to show you, French Rosé and Hanky Panky. I don't have a favourite because they are for a different occasion. This has like, it looks purple, but it comes off like a burnt colour on your face. And this is when I want to be pretty in pink, you know? So they've got different occasions. I want all of them. I would, and they're refillable. Absolutely, if I do finish one, I don't have to buy a whole brand new one. I can just refill it. I, this is my favorite blush of all time. It's hands down the best blush I've ever owned. And then bronzer, I have two cream. I would repurchase the Mecca Max. It's just so easy. This is something I just go boom, 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 out the door. That's why I love it. The ease of it, it's a nice tone. Um, if you have fair skin. And I, I just think it's a really reliable product. And then the Emco Beauty Instant Beauty Wand, Instant Contour Beauty Wand in light medium. People say to try the deeper one because it's uh, a little bit more cool tone. I still quite like this one. Maybe in the future I would try the other one. But same reason, it's, I actually prefer the formula of this one over the Mecca Max. Um, but I love the ease of the Mecca Max one. This is like a beautiful translucent. It, when I say translucent, like it shears out really nicely it's just every time I wear it on my skin it just looks really pretty and gives my skin a nice healthy glow so I recommend that I would definitely repurchase that and then powder I'm not going to pick all of these this is a ride or die apparently it's discontinued and I don't want to talk about it Revlon skin lights in the shade canned tan I'm gonna have to find a way to get a backup of this because this is my like this is my ultimate blush this is my ultimate bronzer it's like a creamy powder it's a powder but it's so it's like a high quality it's bordering baked gelée it is so soft and buttery and i just love it i love the tone i love everything about it and i need to go on the hunt to find another one because the fact that it's not available in stores anymore i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it and then what's the other one that I would pick? I would say the Milani one, the in, in Dolce. This is new to me, but wow. I always had the Soleil, which I have in my fake tan drawer because it's a bit deeper, but I think this one's even better. This is the fairer skinned one. It is like so soft. It's almost blurring on the skin because it's so soft and Oh, my skin looks gorgeous every time I wear this. I can see myself finishing and repurchasing this because it is, it's incredible. Dolce, Dolce, definitely recommend. That's it. These are all the things that I either have or will repurchase when I finish it. Let me know your favorite products that you always repurchase. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.